This range of golf clubs has taken the USA by storm, but we're yet to really understand about it here in Europe and especially the UK. Introducing the brand new Tour Edge Exotics C723 Hybrid. This is the hybrid which nobody seems to buy here in the UK. And today I want to find out why. I want to test it, put it through its paces and see exactly if it could potentially be a bit of a bargain because it has so much adjustability on this, you will not believe it. We're gonna go through all that today, but first of all, how good? does that look so shape wise it's very Adams-esque who remembers the old Adams hybrids but it's a little bit more of a driving iron style you see we've got the Razor Soul technology at the back we have the flight tuning system at the back there as well that almost acts like a B-steel technology we've got a nice front weight here so it's going to be a little bit of a low spin one let's try and get this plastic off and see just this never goes smoothly when you want it to does it just how it can perform so it's got diamond face technology as well it is designed for more ball speed on off center hits that's a huge factor when talking about hybrid hybrid will not be the longest club in your bag but it certainly won't be the shortest and this bad boy's got 17 degrees of loft on there so it's not going to be the easiest club to hit is it a fairway finder is it a rescue or is it something which is a little bit more hard to hit so I really like the shape of this. It's something which a lot of companies have actually gone away from. It's more a player style hybrid, but it will still have an air of forgiveness because of the technology in it. So let's hit a couple of shots off this gorgeous 16th tee. You can see it's quite a wide fairway, but it does narrow up at driver distance. That's why we're hitting it off this tee to start with. This could be the perfect tee club for this hole. Is there a hole like this at your course? Get in the comments below and let me know. And to kick things off, that is such a gorgeous ball flight. Just up the left side, peeling back into the fairway. And as things go, how good is that for an opening strike? Now, one of the things which Tor Edge Exotics do really, really well, these clubs sound phenomenal. I was really impressed with the driver. I was even more impressed with the fairway wood. I think a hybrid is easier to get in people's bag. They're not as expensive as drivers. They're generally a bit more accessible and more people can use them or should use them. Would you put a two iron in the bag over this? This is 17 degree, like we said. And again, if you come and look down at the ball here, you will see how it's quite an, an odd shape, actually. The grooves look to be quite far away from the hosel. So the blade length is quite long, or should I say the head length is quite long. That's not necessarily a bad thing because if you are gonna miss strike a hybrid, generically, it's gonna be toe to heel. It might not be top to bottom here, although there is plenty of surface area there as well to help you with that. This, it just screams Adams, to be honest. There's not a lot of hybrids out there that are like this at the moment. Very, very enjoyable. Let's see if we can play the same shot again. Maybe play it down a little bit, play it a bit lower. This is, sh this is designed to be more versatile. Oh, wow. Chris, can you just explain how good that ball play is for me at the moment? That is good. It, sounds, <laughs> it certainly sounds good to me. Again, that's the third shot I thought. Very impressive with it down, but a great ball play there. Can you do a high one? Can I do a high one? We will have a go. The big thing for me is ease of use with this. I want something that's easy to hit. I don't want to stand over a hybrid and think, oh, I really need to put a good swing on this because if that was the case, I'd have a three wood or I'd have a two iron or I'd have something else. This needs to be easy to get on with. It has to be. We'll talk more tech in a moment. Right, we've had a nice normal one. We've had a low one. High one. How high? How high is high? How's that? That is gorgeous and high. That was lovely and out the middle again. Let's see how far they've gone for a normal flight, a low flight and a high flight. And then let's talk adjustability because it actually comes with its own menu, which um, is almost like an a la carte restaurant. You can see in the fairway, this was the high one. It was a little bit duffy actually, I'm not gonna lie, but we got the trajectory that we wanted and we didn't do bad for distance. That was the normal one that started left and cut it back. And the low one is just in the right hand side of the fairway there so that's three fairways out of three quite happy with that i think this is a club where you can get some distance out of it if you want to like i said this is the most adjustable hybrid i think i've ever seen it actually comes with a bit of a menu like we said and as you can see you can change the loft settings you can change lie settings you can change pretty much everything it's quite a good thing that it comes with this because to be honest without that you would really really be struggling you can change this from 17 degrees all the way down to 15.5 and all the way up to 18.5 you can change the lie angle from 56.5 all the way up 
to 59.5. So very, very interesting, but you can do that. You can see you can get it in a 17 degree loft, 19 degree loft, and you can even get it in a 21 or 23. I think one of them's enough. I think one where you adjust it on the day that you want for the distance that you want. And I also think it could be a really good club for those kind of difficult long par threes that a lot of people don't get on with, rather than trying to hit a four iron or a three iron, this could be ideal, especially if you don't necessarily like a hybrid shape. Let's hit some up a fairway and see just how easy it is to launch, because that could be key to this club going in my bag or your bag. So it's all good and well, this club being a good club off the tee, but so many people are gonna to want to play it from here, bang smack in the middle of a fairway on a par five with 230 yards in. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna jump in the rough and see just how easy this club is to launch out of the thick, juicy rough. Now, this being the 17 degree, I don't think it is gonna be a club necessarily for the rough, but I think for the fairway, the shape of the head really helps. Feel a bit more at ease with it, a bit more confident with it. I always struggle with a big headed hybrid because for me, it feels a bit clumsy. It feels like it gets in the way. I know a lot of you guys at home feel the same way. If you do guys, get in the comments below and let me know. Let me know what do you like to see in a hybrid and what does this remind you of? If you say anything else other than Adams, then, um, you're either very, very young or you're lying. But it also reminds me a bit of the Callaway Apex. Do you remember that Callaway Apex from a couple of years ago? So 2.30 out, I'm just gonna try and play a nice draw into this flag. I think versatility is a huge factor with these clubs to be able to work shots as you want. And as you can see there, that's exactly the shot that I wanted. I'm really pleased that that is so close to the flag. Go on then. I'm really pleased that I hit that shot as well because that wasn't a centered struck shot. It's actually come a little bit out the toe there. And that's what I want to test in this video. I don't want to test hitting out of the middle all the time because I don't think many people do hit hybrids out the middle every single time. It's always going to be down to how forgiving is it, especially when you're this far out. Let's try and hit a centered one. I'm going to try and play a bit of a fade. The ball's above my feet, so it's not ideal. But with the versatility of this club, you can see now that is so good. That's way better than I did anticipate, to be honest. That started left, it's now on the left side of the green. Not loads of movement, not Bubba Watson movement, where it's moving in from 50 yards at all angles. But for me, that's a really, really nice, versatile club, and a club which certainly could find its way in your bag if you can get over the stigma of it being called Tor Edge Exotics. All right, these golf balls are sat horrendously. Chris, thank you so much for that, to put those in there. This is where I think a 17 degree hybrid isn't necessarily the answer for me or for you. But we'll have a go because a lot of people will only want to buy one hybrid. And if this is the shot you struck with and you have to go for it in a match play situation or in your Sunday medal, then it's nice to know that potentially you could pull it off every now and then. I'm not anticipating these to be great shots. They're not going to fly as well as the ones from the fairway. But if I can generate a bit of ball speed, a bit of launch angle, if I can carry those bunkers, it might come out a little bit dead and then fly towards the green. So let's have a go. Again, I think there's so much disrespect on Tor Edge Exotics name, and I really don't know why. They have some really good players on the seniors tour, some PGA professionals and LPGA professionals. I can't believe you put this into the grass, Chris. That has come out really well. Fly, carry the bunker. It has as well. Now that's the turf interaction that I would anticipate in this lie. So you can see how deep the ball was in there and I've just had to get a bit steeper with it. Now the reason I can do that is the leading edge on this is a little bit sharper than potentially some hybrids you would look at in the market. So that does help you kind of gouge it out the rough a little bit. The razor sole is gonna help as well. It's gonna help you glide through that turf. And obviously if you miss hit it a little bit, the diamond face is there to help you maintain ball speed. Right, that was sat well compared to this. What have you done here? Sadistic, that. I'm gonna to have to try and gouge this as a bit of a fade, try and open the face up a bit. This could go anywhere. Oh, look at that. Come on, cut, cut. Right, that's gonna be flag high. It's left side of the green. I'm gonna take that all day long. The one thing that I can tell you here and the feedback I can give you is I've really enjoyed using this. And I've tested quite a lot of clubs this year, pretty much all of them. And this has to be up there with one of the best unheard of clubs that maybe you would not try. So guys, if you are in the market for this and you can go and try them, that's probably one area that do let themselves down. Where would you go and try one of these? I'm not too sure. Probably more accessible over in the States than it is here in Europe or the UK. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this or with tailor-made titleist Callaway Ping Mizuno clubs and everything else. See you tomorrow. Bye.